I'm glad we came to the Hall of Kings today. Look at their fine regal clothing. I mean most of them anyways. Meow. Since when is Deadpool a king? Oh, I've always been the king, you know. Lying. I thought so. Let's get out of here. Wait, come back. I'm the highlight of the exhibit. Hey there Funko fans, today we're going to take a look at what I picked up from Barnes & Noble the other day and I have something from a viewer on my other channel Got a little peek there um, He sent this in, this is a Sally seated from Nightmare Before Christmas Pocket Pop keychain So that was on my Magic the Gathering channel MTG Unpacked We use these pop figures quite a bit uh, as part of the channel so let's take a look at what he sent us so is this something you collect these pocket pops they're like the mini versions of the pops some nice detail there I like how the hair goes all the way down and is there a full-size pop version of this I'd be curious to know and what is she holding there? Is that a flower or ice cream or something? Not sure. Alright, so that was the Pocket Pop. And then the highlight here. This was what I was really after. Was the King Aragorn. So this is a very cool pop. Came out uh, a couple of weeks ago now I think. So, I also saw the regular Aragorn, yep, there he is. Uh, saw some golems, including the invisible golem, Lurtz, Pip and Took, Treebeard was a good one, that was a nice big pop, Merry Brandybuck. Alright, so let's get stuck into this and take a closer look. So here he is, King Aragorn in all his glory. Look at the incredible detail on that crown there. On the armor, some very nice paintwork. He's even wearing a ring. Crazy amount of detail. The uh, face is very clean, no real blotches of paint or anything I can see. I like the cloak, that's pretty cool. Very nice, and of course he's got his uh, sword there ready to go. So that is King Aragorn, let me know what you think of this guy in the comments, and how many other Lord of the Rings characters do you have in your collection? Alright, next up we have another Barnes & Noble exclusive from Saga, so this is a comic book series, The Lion Cat. So you'll notice a little difference here. The typical lion cat is a bluish colour. This guy, no, he's pink. Barnes & Noble exclusive, so I'm not sure why they did that, but it is quite amusing. So here are some of the other characters. I noticed there were a couple of those at the store. Not sure if I'll pick them up or not, but I'll see how we go. So let's take a closer look at Lion Cat. <laughs> and this is something I didn't notice. There's these little colored blotches everywhere on him, his spots. So that's pretty cool. That's the detail I didn't see in the box. Of course, he's got his necklace here. Very finely manicured paws. Tail wrapping around. Oh, there's a... I don't know if that's armor or what. Bit of clothing there. And he's got this... He's one of those hairless cats, and I don't know if you've seen the series, but uh, he's he's got quite a good lie detector on him. So if he thinks somebody's telling a few pork pies, he will call them out on it, as you may have seen on the intro. So that is the lying cat, P 
pink Barnes & Noble exclusive. Very happy to have this one. As you may be able to tell, I like the weird pops. So the weirder the better. And stuff that doesn't tend to look like a pop is pretty cool. And finally, is another weird one. This is from Saga. This is the Funko 2018 Spring Convention Exclusive Prince Robot 4. This is from Saga also, and he is a bit of a strange character with a TV for a head. This one, I believe, was the slightly broken TV. That's what made it a convention exclusive. Not sure why, but they had this at Barnes & Noble. So that is pretty fun. And of course, yep, there he is. He was on the other box. So let's see what a 2018 Spring Exclusive looks like. And here he is. Prince Robot 4. And one detail I didn't notice in the box was the little antennas at the back. That is hilarious. And he's got a bit of a crack in the screen. Not sure what that's supposed to represent. Nice outfit there. One of these old fashioned TVs as you can tell. No flat screen here. And I wonder if his head, yeah he's got a little bit of head movement there. So that is very nice. Nice shoes. And is Saga something you have read or the pops you're planning to pick up? Leave a note in the comments. So there we go. That was a short but sweet pickups from Barnes & Noble. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more pop unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and see you around.